What do you see, dog meat? I smell it too. It smells like dog breath. Boom, baby! Welcome back to the wilderness on the internet. I am the Hunter Wild, a full-time partner broadcaster over at twitch.tv slash Hunter Wild. Today, brief, brief little detour, a deviation, a road trip, if you will, departing from our typical forestry, the woodlands through which I like to romp, muddy my boots. We are instead going to visit a place that has become very near and dear my heart in, in recent weeks. Of course, I am talking about the post-apocalyptic nuclear wasteland of Boston. Now, many of you know that I have been playing a lot of Fallout 4 lately, and I love this place! <laughs> it is full of some of the, the kindest people that I've ever met. Now, normally I'd be thinking of some southern hospitality. This place is, is quite far north. Uh, I don't know. I don't know where they get it. I don't know where they get all the kindness, where they find the capacity for so much love and, and passion in their hearts that I have seen. A an excruciating amount of cuddly little woodland creatures, too, that I, that I just, I, I want to bring them in near my bosoms and, and, and cuddle them with the fullness of my manliness in my beard. Unbelievable amounts of death and mayhem have befallen me in the Fallout 4 Boston paradise. And today, we're gonna get a little bit of, of compensation for all of that, all of that suffering. I've recently been playing a Fallout 4 uh, melee explosives build. I, I, I at one point called Boomstick. Then it was Booms and Blades. I had a hell of a good time, but this was all on survival difficulty. And as some of you may know, uh, survival difficulty can really just shit like right directly into your eyeball. You don't, you don't pass go and collect 200 bucks. Uh, you don't even get the luck of, of getting pink eye. You, your various limbs will explode off of your body and gout, gouts of blood will just spurting everywhere. There is nothing mild about survival difficulty, especially with a melee build. There are many times when I had to cross some boundaries, cross some, a distance, cross a distance in order to get the melee action going. Uh, I would throw a few grenades to, of course, I would completely miss. The shit would usually bounce off of some kind of door frame that was nearby and like right back onto me. Of course, uh, annihilating myself, my dog, sometimes a nearby ally. And then I would have to sprint my ass across great distances to reach my target, often getting mowed down, finding myself limbless, uh, headless on occasion, certainly hopeless uh, more often than not. I'm going to get some compensation. Today, I've been sent a care package from the lovely folk over in the Boston wasteland. That uh, pseudo-southern hospitality is going to see its way into the wilderness today with the Fallout 4 Loot Crate! As you can see, completely, the tape is still intact, completely unopened, and I'm just gonna dive right in. I'm just, I am so fucking, I, this has been sitting here for so goddamn long, waiting to be opened until the right time, and now that I have completed my Fallout 4 playthrough, it's time. Uh, for those who are interested, I sided with the Institute. I... We'll talk about that later. Oh, Nuka Cola! Dude, that is awesome! <laughs> Holy shit. First things first, you've gotta be shitting me. This is so dope! But this is also a small, I believe this is intended for my gen pie. I'll try it on. Bad guy in a little coat. I believe that this is uh, erotic material. This might not be safe for work because the raging mega huge boner that I'm getting right now. <laughs> Legit 111. This isn't super dense. This is gonna be like a, a late spring. Well, I live in Indiana. So, so here this is gonna be a late spring, like early summer, late summer and fall uh, hoodie. Holy shit! Dog meat! Dog meat, dude, you're in the plastic bag. I gotta get you out. This was the this was the dude that I hung out with in my playthrough the most. I there was nobody. I ended up getting some raider dog armor and decked him out. He looked 
so super fucking fly. All the puppy honeys were running all up to the dog meats, if you know what I'm saying. If you follow me on Twitter, you might already know the level of disappointment that I had with it. And this was confirmed by other people that, that this is a fairly disappointing object. Now, I'm super fucking happy that I have it, especially when it comes to display items. This is a beautiful... This is a... Oh, look at him! Oh my god! My, my arm! This is a splendid display item, in my opinion. And that's where you're getting your value. As a, as a collectible piece, as a display item. The very first thing that I did when I opened up the box was I pressed this button in, and it never unpressed. It just... I hit it, it went in, and it stayed in forever. And I've heard a bunch of stories similar to this. We're gonna cuddle and snuggle and have the bestest of times. Collector pin set? Dude, this this has me super stoked. And it's also completely locked me out. Please tell me I don't have to hack my way into this. Fucking hacking. <gasps> These look so legit. These look so good. These are rock solid. Like, this isn't... This isn't like your standard, your standard kind of button. These are actual, these are actual pins. Gasoline Diesel Fusion, of course, our homeboy. Vault 111. I'm pretty sure that these two are for me. Brotherhood of Steel. Diesel Fusion! Red Rocket. That is so beautiful. That looks so legit. There we go. Don't put your ice cold Nuka Cola on your car door turned table. Put them on your Fallout 4 coaster set. Oh, oh, oh shit! Oh my god, these are good and they're floppy! One. Oh, that new coaster smell! Mmm! Vault 111, and then the Nuka Cola Girl. Look at them. Read them and weep, suckas. And they're rubberized. I'm so glad that they're not. I've got I've got a bunch of like hard, firm, hashtag hard coasters. And you know, sometimes you put down a glass a little a little heavy, like. Sometimes you're you're kind of missing it by like a quarter of an inch, and you're like, ah! These are going to survive that impact. All right, what do, what do we have here? Oh. <laughs> Nuka Cola, baby! Oh, holy shit. Who doesn't love posters? Nerds, jocks, rockers, teeny boppers love putting up Menudo and shit. I don't know who the fuck they put up. I'm sure Menudo's in there somewhere from some time period, like the 1780s or something. You like decorating your 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 home, your walls with things that you that you appreciate that show off the things that you love, the things that you hold dear to your heart, the things that make you come alive. Is this? <laughs> Quick little detail, this is now my cape. I will forevermore be draped in the Brotherhood of Steel cape. In my playthrough, I totally fucking annihilated them. But that's neither here nor there. Oh, this is getting better and better. This bag feels... I'm, I'm, giving, it, I'm giving it the squishes. This bag feels so legitimate. Okay, I'm a bit of a bag hound. I'm a bit of a bag man. Alright? I got a lot of backpacks. I don't think I have any, like... Proper man purses, but I don't give a shit. I would totally rock one. From backpacky gear to day wear. Front zipper, deep pocket. That's good. Velcro and latch. That I like. So you can keep this unlatched and just have just have the Velcro do the job so that you can get quick access. But then you can also lock it in uh, if you are doing like some more distance traveling and you don't want it you don't want shit to fall out. Maybe you're gonna be a little a little raucous with your bag. Uh, maybe you want to make sure that other people can't get into it easily if you can't pay attention to it a lot. Quick little, quick little detail. Quick little bit of detail. You see how the uh, the Velcro straps on the bag are, are are vertical, and the Velcro straps on the top are horizontal. That means that it's that even if you're gonna miss it, you don't have to have a perfect alignment. You don't have to have a perfect alignment between the top and the bottom to uh, to have the Velcro go right? It's just, if you're flapping it down there, you're flopping it down there, you're gonna get it locked in.
You got some bits for possibly a wallet, a little mini journal, full on soft, soft cotton lining, it feels like, or poly blend possibly on the inside. And this is all is all fairly padded, especially the back. The back is the back is well padded. So this says a a 2700 cap or 150 USD value or more or greater. I'm going to go with I'm going to go with greater than 150 bucks. I am. The hoodie for its thickness or I should say thinness, uh the general sense of quality, I'd probably say this is a $30 hoodie. 30 maybe maybe more, which is pretty good. Pretty good. This bag itself, 45 bucks. F maybe 55. 20 bucks or more. These, this is kind of hard to say. Let me see. What, how much does this smell like? 20 bucks. I drop a hard 20 on these. The pins themselves. These pins, 30 bucks. And the posters. That's a bit hard to say. The prints themselves could be as cheap as 5 bucks a piece, could be as much as 15 a piece depending on where you would be picking them up. So let's go with a middle, a middle range of, of 10 bucks a piece, putting them at 20. We'd, we'd probably say a range of 16 to 20 bucks for both of these together. And who can complain about a Nuka-Cola fridge, otherwise known as the box in which my cats are gonna be playing for the next week and a half? All out fallout, baby! Do I have something on my face? Hello? God, I don't feel so good. Thank you so much for jamming out with me in the wilderness. On the internet, albeit the fallout not so wilderness near Boston in the future. Tonight! Don't forget that if you liked what we had to bring you today, to click on that like button. And if you want to see more of it, hit the subscribe button. Maybe go check out some of the other things that we have to offer. And don't forget, don't be a bag of dicks. Uh, and what do we have here? Uh, a cigar box? Okay. Uh, a coffee cup? Okay, that's ceramic. Uh, a pencil? Yeah, yeah. Uh, beard comb? Yeah. Car keys? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, Ball-Tech coaster? Yep. Uh, Pack South badge? Yep. 2016. That's, that's pretty close. Uh, candy? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, flashlight? Yeah. Nail clipper? Uh-huh, definitely. Uh, Tiger Ball. Oh, yeah, even more. Let's get some nerds. Uh, old cell phone. That shit don't work no more. Uh, a knife. Fuck yeah. Woo, you going in there? Uh, definitely a button. Uh, a bag of dicks. Uh, dog meat. Uh, a wrench. Uh, Wii U controller. And everything else that nobody gives a shit about in this game, I have to collect it.